Hey guys, I'm Panda. Uh, Odonata will be with us uh, shortly. Um, but right now I'm just playing some uh, some Manic Mino for fun. Just getting to uh, enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, not doing particularly well. I tried to lava uh, a little bit ago, so we're gonna go back to it. I, I kind of suck at it. Um, is there an earlier lava one? Wait, the first one has lava? Strange, I don't remember that. Um, waterworks. Oh, nope. Don't panic. Okay, we're, we're gonna jump into this one for a We had just begun mining that. I think I'll go here. That's where people are coming down. We just have to drill. I think actually everything's about drilling. Crystals are our highest priority. An energy crystal has been found. I don't care about the base. An energy crystal has been found. A new cavern has been discovered. Try a new methodology where I just build everything. We don't build a damn thing. We are just drilling. An energy crystal has been found. We lose a couple people, we lose a couple people, you know. An energy crystal has been found. I hope we don't need that. A new cavern has been discovered. We're gonna have to get everybody on the other side of this as soon as possible. Maybe fix that one. I have to see if I can bring a tool store. We're gonna have to send them across the An energy crystal hall has been found. treacherous hallway. Yep. A new cavern has been discovered. Unit teleported safely. Construction is our highest priority right now. We need everyone to try to get across. Uh, drop it and go drill that wall. You might not make it. But, I think we have the game plan on some of these now. Move. Move and move now. When in doubt, move faster. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. I need people to go try to make this power path happen. Oh. We 
got we got things to do, people. Uh oh. Did I just screw myself out of here? An energy crystal cut inside. Why aren't they why aren't they putting this down? Should I have lifted the There we go. Huh. Strange. Or is a top priority now? Put it on there. Come on. Energy crystals. There we go. Oh, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Let's make sure we're just doing well on our end. Oh, we owe. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I, I guess this is really the answer. Just, I gotta speed run these guys. Uh, these puppets. Wait, what? Solid drop. Find the lost tool store? Wait, that's not what the thing was. I thought, crap. Crap, I thought it was find 15. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Where, where's drilling? Increase priority level. Where's drilling? Oh god. I, I did not make the, I, I did not plan for this. Uh, crap. Well, second important lesson. Uh, know your... An energy crystal has been found. What is shoveling? Shoveling is not now the most important thing. We have to defend this. Oh yeah, because we have to blow this wall, that's right. Okay, yep, we gotta hold this line strong. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's level 3 though, that's fine. That means we can train a group of you guys go train as explosive experts. Oh god. If the next one's diagonal, I'm screwed, I think. Is it okay to have two tools to it? I mean, uh, drilling is the highest priority, people. We're gonna have to shift this. Everyone go train as an explosive expert. Unit teleported safely. I don't know what you're doing there. That, that looks dangerous. That's fine. There we go. There we go. Whew. I was worried. I was worried there for a minute. Guys, come on. Stop caring about that stuff. Tool store. I might have to move my tool store back. I gotta make them stop going after this. Can I? I can't do any of that. Oh, oh. An energy crystal has been found. Unit teleported safely. You dynamite. Repair erosion. Ooh. That's a hell of a voice. Bomb. Give me some dynamite, boys. Drop. A new cabin has been discovered. Thank God. Lava, lava, Whoa. scary. You trained an explosive expert, got to the safe cabin, and collected all 15 energy crystals. Okay, Good so that job. was a part of the job, Theo. I wasn't just insane. I was worried.
I lost it. Uh, what would be another good one? Right, Rock Raider. Things are really hotting up now. Rock Raider HQ has been devastated by earthquakes, landslides, and cave-ins, and our fresh air supply has been used up. We must rebuild the base and get the support station functioning. Once we have the base up. Uh, the air supply is running out. <laughs> I want to fill my crew. Crew is a top priority, dude. Go behind the shovel. Uh, I don't know how to make this repairing walls one. Yeah, actually, that's on top. An energy crystal nice. has been found. I just need those walls repaired. We can. I think we can blow one of them later, but. Also, you gotta get a gun. Get laser. Yeah. is our top priority. An energy crystal has been found. I got less than three minutes to do this. Whatever you are doing, you need to stop. Stop with the energy crystal, we don't need it. Alright. Go shovel. You get get out of here. Unit need, teleported need safely. So run a Lino crew here, I guess. <laughs> I guess is my answer. Construction is number two. After that, because we need to build. We need to get everything connected. We should have enough ore around if we have enough time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need this guy. No, no, you, you are shoveling this one. Increase priority level. Priorities. This should be good. Teleport pad. Power yeah, we're good now. I might even bring down an extra dude to get speed going. Yeah, we got two minutes to connect that path and that path. We're good. It's time to get back to drill, baby drill. Right. Repair building. We do need to repair, but it is powered. Support station. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm going up in time. We'll figure out how far I go. Has oh shit. I don't have anything to protect this. People come down. Get guns. Oh, that was go get it. Go get a gun. God, he's got oh, oh god, we're all dead. God, we're dead. Yep, 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 that, that, that's death. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll try now. Okay, um... Teleport, Pat. I need you to go Unit teleported safely. I need the time. Rubble. How did I get me no extra time? Shoveling is our top priority. Priorities. No, I have a minute 29, guys. Oh, we gotta go to this. It was bad that I did have to get rid of the dude to I got a minute twelve and then I have to get everyone to get a gun again. We'll start getting these up and running then. A monster has appeared. Action stations Uh yeah, we don't got we don't got anything. Where where is this monster? Oh yeah, there he is. 
Um, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but maybe you, you're gonna need a gun. Your air right supply now. is running low. Yeah, one dude will take care of this. Oh god, here he goes again. Oh wait, he's going for the energy crystal. Sweet, we might have just been saved. Yeah, we're fine with him doing that. Oh, we're good. We can have that energy crystal. Power station. Guys, oh god, we have like no time to just get one of the dudes. <sighs> very, very frightening. 22 seconds. Okay, turn off the alarm. Action station! Come on, guys. You got 16 seconds. Be gone. Unit teleported safely. Come on, buy me a second. Be gone. Guys, I, I can't keep the. No, stop it. Unit teleported safely. Your only job right now is to build. No more. Yeah, Unit yeah. teleported safely. You pick up this. God, no. Oh. I have to rely on Rock one dude to get this thing done. Come on, we have 15 seconds, bud. We gotta get this back down. Otherwise, we Rock all radar. die. Well, actually. Power path. Are you joking me? Power path. <sighs> Teleport rock I don't think I can win any more. Like. All of you guys also go get guns. And, uh, oh crap, I really shouldn't have done that. They, they have good shit in their hands. Okay, good. That's fine. An energy crystal has been found. Energy crystals will be our highest priority now behind drilling. We're gonna bring down a small transport. We're gonna start building up defenses. I don't think there's slugs in this one. Cool. My favorite part is that you can like re like reinforce walls and then blow it. Like somehow your reinforcement didn't do anything to it. That was a close call. A monster has appeared. Oh oh god. Power drop. Oh, at least he's gonna just. Uh, Throw haymakers at this guy until he hits red. But we're gonna action stations. I still haven't found out how to do that. They're level three now. Fine. This wall, blow it. A monster has appeared. Where? It really depends. Okay, kind of not too worried about it. Like, I'm so not worried about it. You go drill. Vehicles. Action stations. Preparing is a top priority right now. I'm still going up with the top. So I'm just Get that small transport down, or did I forget? Small transport. Not enough resources. That's fine. Unit teleported safely. Nope, oh, monster. Action stations. I guess I really am not too worried now that I have this up, but let me get a couple more defenses going. Do you guys not have guns? We go get guns. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Energy crystal 
don't see. You didn't have. How do you not have that? You know? Still going up in time. We're gonna blow that wall. I know that's gonna hurt my defenses on this side, but we'll play it safe through the cavern. What are you doing? Unit teleported safe to tool manual. We're gonna push a beam. Not a lot. I just want to clear. Nice call. A monster has appeared. Drop it and get this. Action station! Why are there zones? Yeah, go, go make a border, I don't care. This should be good. Uh, we're gonna put some more defenses in here. You go kill that wall for me. I don't know what could be down there that would be so needed. Yeah, I don't see anything useful. I wonder why my resolution changed. Can I get away with that? Cancel this guy. Just repair it. No, get away from there, you dingus. Don't, don't stand next to the thing that's falling appeared. on you, where... Yeah, we're fine. Uh, unless he goes and decides to make a board, then we're not fine. Um... Your board? buildings are in danger. Wait, what? Oh god, how did he get past the defenses? Unit teleported safely. What? Oh god. An energy crystal has been found. How, how did he do this? Unit how did he get safely? Well, we're having a good time here. We're almost definitely dead. Um, given the fact that we have to build two things within a minute. Okay. What did I learn as we all go ahead and die here? How did he get in? And how did he not get hit by this? Your air supply is running low. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just go ahead and die. Because I don't think there's any. Unit teleported safely. Be gone. I don't think there's any amount of fixing. Teleport pad. Probably. A do. monster has appeared. Not without monsters in the area. We came through that wall. I swear to God, he destroys this. I just fixed it, dude. Come on. Your buildings are in danger. Okay, we got him. Be done. Be done with him. Go, 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 fix this. Your air supply is running low. Yeah, you. Unit good. teleported safely. We have 55 seconds to build a building. Come on, boys. Come on. Your air supply is running Guys, low. Guys, this, this isn't building a building. Number one is building a building. We have enough gravel around. We have enough. What we don't have enough of is time. Building! 30 seconds. You gotta get three energy crystals and that. I don't think it. I don't think so. Oh man. Where do you guys have to go? All of you guys are doing such a good job. Unit teleported safely. Okay, but four extra seconds. Unit teleported safely. Got four extra Reinforced seconds. Wall. What do we got? What do we got coming? A monster on? has appeared. Yeah, this, the, oh. Teleport rocket to planet. Come on. Oh wait, we can start dropping dudes. Unit teleported safely. Okay, yeah, we see that's why you have to get rid of this one. Nice yeah. monster. Guys, your buildings are in danger. A monster has Go get appeared. a gun! 
Oh god, we're all gonna die again. Okay. Your air supply is running low. Did it just break? Wait, what? Unit teleported safely. It, does it not work? Solid rock. Okay, well, you know. Unit it, teleported oh. safely. It was fun, but we will get on out of here and try that one again. Good god. Okay. You didn't get the base up and running and collect 40 energy crystals. Mission failed. So, what did we learn? Um, move that dock in and you'll be safe. Right, Rock Raider. Things are really hotting up now. Eyes running out. Drill that wall, you dinguses. Okay, actually, that's useful to clear out. We just have to protect that real quick. Gotta run a lean three man crew here. We're gonna be preemptive. This. <clears throat> We're not gonna drill this wall. Tool store. An energy crystal has been found. Priorities. Oh. Priorities. Constructions on the one. What is this? Interesting. Priorities. I don't play around with buildings so that often. Okay, you're gonna stop digging. Ah, drop. It's only level two. Enable. Disable. Guys, do you enjoy breathing? Power pod. An energy crystal has been found. Sometimes I forget, you just have to say, do it again. Rock Raider. We do have three minutes to try to get ready. Building. There we go. Building. Okay, now we have that. However, we're gonna have to move that guy in because otherwise we're going to end up having to defend everything and that's just not possible. It's just poor base design 101. Yeah, we're okay here now.
A monster has appeared. Oh god, he's right in my weak spot. Oh, you guys get guns. Your buildings are in danger. Least expected. Unit teleported safely. Your buildings Building. are in danger. How did he Unit get through? Teleported safely. How did he get through? Well, Priorities. It, it's construction. I don't know how that just happened. That was An nice. energy Power crystal pop. has been found. Yeah, I mean, if you die, it's kind of a good at this point. Building. I have no way to protect this right now. Is that oxygen? We got oxygen, okay. A monster has appeared. It's gonna go right Solid after drop. It. Unit teleported safe. Action station! Teleport rock rider to planet. An energy crystal has been found. Monster has appeared. I'm just not sure that this place has electricity flowing through it for some reason. I don't know why. <coughs> Be gone. Unit teleported safely. Teleport up to this planet. Let's make this place safe and go a little bit. <clears throat> Let me quickly uh, pause this so I don't. To screw myself. That Channel News 5 guy, like, was around where I grew up. It was kind of cool. When you want to. Let's keep going. Unit oh. teleported safely. We gotta make sure that we got. Oh, we have the ore now. A monster has appeared. Action stations! I'm gonna blow that wall. I'm gonna blow this corner. Power drop! We're gonna blow this face as well. Guys, that's fine. Does nobody have a gun? Rubble! Okay, good. Action station! <laughs> We might have actually defended Teotoy. It might be a bit crazy, but we might have done it. Power station. Let 
you to go train those explosive experts. I'm just paranoid that these aren't working. Also, I remember a monster coming out of here. Ah, drop. A monster has appeared. I like how they crumble into little monsters, it's really cute. Do I have enough to bring down? A monster has appeared! Action stations! Uh, no, we're fine. Do your thing. As you were. How much crap do I need for this? Yep, uh huh. And get taped. Reinforced wall. Go to training menu. Unit teleported safely. Teleport Oops. Okay, your death might be a little bit on me. A monster has appeared. A monster has appeared. Electric man. Unit teleported safely. Okay, so he's going to get hit by Bob. Unit teleported safely. Why do we have no one doing explosives? I've trained multiple explosive experts. Unit teleported safely. Teleport rock raider to planet. Like, I don't want to... We're going to be in trouble if we can't... Ah, drop. Do it Teleport pad. Oh, it's probably because drawing is so low. We gotta, which is fine. But we just gotta rebalance that now. Whoops. Yeah, that's your yeah, death are very much on me now. A monster has appeared. Zap. A were. new cavern has been discovered. That's fine. Uh, An energy crystal has been found. We can get away with that. We're gonna get away with as much as much explosive force as we can. Whoops. Uh, no, we're not gonna blow this wall. An energy crystal has been found. Transfer. Not enough resources. What do you require? Well, we have five, so that makes no sense to me. That's fine. We're, we're gonna keep bowling, blowing the town. As many as much drilling as we can do. I don't care what I send you into. Yeah, we can drill this wall and leave it if we need to. I don't care if we. That. A monster has appeared. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, nobody do anything about him. He will die. 
Zappy zap. I feel like it's a lot like, um... I'm trying to think of an animal that was like super dangerous before we just figured out we could live in like houses. I guess rats were super dangerous oh. before we figured out disease, so... We're kind of like rats at this point. Once you get like the electric fence going, you are in such good shape. It's really no different at that point to a rat. It's time to blow this town. Dynamite. Boom. <laughs> Unit teleported safely. Interesting. An energy crystal has been found. And dead. Oh crap. Oh crap. I am exposed. I am oh so exposed. An energy crystal has been found. I don't know how this one got lost. This would be Unit really teleported dead safely. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. Reinforced wall. Increase priority level. Good. That will get us uh, to transport this stuff much quicker. We bring down our small digger. Those are the best. Plus, you can put things in the back, and you can play in first person. Is my buddy jumping? Oh, is Odin not uh, too tired tonight? Found. I don't know what happened to Odin teleported safely. Oh, we're going up, so teleport someone down. Make sure we're protected, because... Ooh, uh... Oh, wait a second. I wonder if I remember this one. Do remember we have to keep blowing. We gotta dynamite everything we can. And we gotta keep that. that guy An energy busy. crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. Go to buildings menu. A monster has appeared. Action stations! Where? An energy crystal has been found. You ain't making it, bud. That dude hunted you down. Oh, wow, he gave up. When I pop off, baby, gonna get me just a little bit of da da da. Wall. I don't know if anybody's checked out our stream. Come on, zappy zap. You see, the, the I'm trying to think of a great example of like an animal that was like physically a, a danger to us, and then we just learned we can live inside. Like an we, energy <laughs> crystal has been found. We live in a society. Okay. A monster has appeared.
An energy crystal has been found. Sweet. Okay, now we are operational now. Vehicles. And we're still gaining. So I wonder if I should pull a monster gun. has appeared. Let me check it out. Uh, well, that might be a bit yikesy for that guy. No, don't don't chase my little guy. What did he do to you? Oh, uh, the small transport coming into one. I love it. You get out of here. Literally go do anything but just stand next to the really dangerous object. A monster has appeared. Oh, he's going after it. Yeah, we gotta get a ton more explosives laid down. An energy crystal has been found. And zap. I'm really okay with monsters being like pseudo transportation machines. They can eat all the energy crystals they want as long as they come to base to try to destroy my stuff. An energy crystal has been found. A monster has appeared. Did you just blow the solid drop? Solid An energy crystal has like been it. found. Uh, you know what? An Wait, energy crystal drum. has been found. It's funny, they actually like, may have tried to hurt him. That would be cool if you could use, uh, what is he going after? Ooh. An energy crystal has been found. Rubble. Rubble. Is Rubble. that the Jesus monster? He's Rubble. Jesus! I didn't know they could Jesus walk. Rubble. A monster has appeared. He lit Oh my god, dude, come on. Small digger. He literally just Jesus walked. That's sick. Uh, I'll probably get rid of that guy. Have him go home. Transport upwards. What else? Tool stall. Teleport pad. An energy Vehicle. crystal has been found. Small transport truck. Yeah, that's fine. Small A monster has Small appeared. Transport truck. Oh. oh, I don't have a spot for it. That's right. That's how that works. You have to, you can't just spam vehicles down like you can spam people. An energy crystal has been found. If one of them does eventually get through somehow, I am pretty screwed. So I'm now just not paying attention to them. I'm also really close to a full of crystals. Is he heading? Oh, to more crystals? That's fine. Please, be my transportation unit. Go to building's menu. <laughs> Solid rock. Did he just dip with those crystals? He didn't dip, did he? Right. An energy crystal has been found. That's fine. Quite frankly. At this point, we're at 33. We didn't even venture over to here. This would be an insane map to wipe out. I might Water. do that. 
A new cavern has been discovered. What is this map? This is insane. A monster has appeared. God, you're gonna do it. You're, you're just gonna die. Let's make sure that my... Yeah, you know what? We can drill corners like that. I'm fine with wasting that type of time. Yeah, well done. You put yourself in a good position, bud. We're gonna wipe this place to clay. I'm curious what the speedrunning community in this place is like. I did post in a channel to see, so I'll check to see if I get an answer. Or if I got an answer and I just didn't, wasn't paying attention. But it's completely possible. Also, we're like six crystals away and I'm pretty sure they're out there already. If I had to guess. Nobody's An energy home. crystal has been found. Yep. Teleport pad. An energy crystal has been found. A new cavern has been discovered. Nice. Pick it clean. Cute. At this point, I'm way too curious how, like, Space I can just go level. Down. I'm gonna have to bring down helicopters to get across that water, most likely. Unless I can Jesus walk, like that monster. I didn't know they could do that. They, this dude just like do 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 do, and then like came around here for some reason. I'm not sure why. He wasn't after a crystal. Solid rock. Go to is building menu. Oh, did not, uh. Well. A monster has appeared. That's been a hot minute. Oh, I can start blowing these. A new cavern has been discovered. Blow the walls. Knock it all down. And every single one of them. An energy crystal has been found. Where's the monster? Oh, he's hurting my dudes. That's not very nice. Run away! The only danger is if he just keeps running around. If he doesn't ever go after my base, there's not a lot I can do. Rubble! But I wouldn't even really care at that point. Like, yeah, it's my dudes, and like, I try to treat them well, but like, okay, that's just like a me thing. That's not a game mechanic, and sometimes losing guys is, is, is a profitable method, and fee fi fo you're gone. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. Small digger. An energy crystal has been found. Top priority is riding vehicles, baby. All we're doing now.
Scout. Might get a Tunnel Scout right in. Small mobile, small digger. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. There goes territory out of this. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. Shuffling is a top priority, unironically. An energy crystal has been found. An energy crystal has been found. I wonder if there's a... An energy crystal has been found. Is there a vehicle that shuffles? I don't think there is. That's really sad. I feel like that would be a great one. There's just like a board down there. An energy crystal has excavator. been found. Oh, we don't even need that. Let's go. An energy crystal has been found. 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 Okay. What would also be fun to bring down to the earth? Everybody should be in a vehicle, I feel like. An energy crystal has been found. Man, they made so many of these walls drillable. I don't think though in the original game that you could just go An ahead and do this. So is this found. added? Although you could um, make sure you never hit 40. You could turn off energy, uh, energy crystal collection and make sure that you never hit 40. Um, that was always an option, I guess. And like, like An sure. energy you had, but you had to protect your base of it. This is like the cool part. Like you didn't have to. An like energy crystal has been found. Slide. It kind of, I think, messed with the game if you did that. You don't have to drill that wall. An energy crystal has been found. Man, they had enough energy crystals to go around here. Yeah, we're just blowing walls now. That can be drilled. I'm just gonna send my dudes to death. Ooh. That's fine though, because I'll just bring down another uh, oxygen station. An energy crystal has been found. Um, Unit teleported safely. These three. 
and ironically be gone because we have to we have to make construction a top priority right now or we're gonna just not be breathing oxygen. Kinda played myself here. Hey, can you uh Small digger. do your job? I don't care who technically An energy crystal has been found. How is it supposed to be? Well we're done though. I literally just have to blow a couple more walls and that's it. Yeah, nope, we, we won. That was it. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait a second. Solid rock. Interesting. Oh, I'll have to go. Solid rock. Got Ball Carver and the devs of this game did such a great job. The odds were against you, but you came through and got all. I have a view. 40 seconds. I wonder if that was one of the mods making sure I was streaming this. Hot stuff. They go fire. Listen carefully, Rock Raider. A member of. Your air supply is running out. Just a sec. No wheels. Sick. Oh, I don't know. Oh crap! I think I have to draw these walls instead. How much time do I got? Oh, I got like. 30 minutes. I'm kind of fine making sure. Yes. No wheels, huh? That's pretty sweet. Well, I will not be super happy to have to listen to No Wheels Sweet. A new cabin has been How you been? Discovered. Going up. Small transport truck. Puppet scout. Ah, didn't see you there. Yeah. Too slow. Keep tight. Nice. Small Ready to rumble some truck. rolling some dirt. A new cavern has been discovered. We'll figure that out in a second. I'm gonna put some bets on over here, just for the hell of it. A new cavern has been discovered. Nope, we'll back over here. Wait, unless I get the hover. That was hover, right? That was. We'll get him over there in a second. Oh, drop. Oh, but oh, but I can only drill it with this guy. A new cavern thing. has been discovered. Ooh. Whiskey business. Whiskey business. A new cavern has been discovered. We're gonna have to get you to uh fill that wall. Okay. Come on. Uh, ooh, ooh. We are in yikesy territory. A new cavern has been discovered. Whiskey business. Whiskey business. That's what we're all about here. A new cavern has been discovered. Small digger. Cargo carrier. 
Nice. Solid rock. Is there a way to do that? Ah. A new cabin has been discovered. You. A on. new cabin has been discovered. Oh, done. Find your way back home. Huh? Tool store. Okay, what do I have to do? Um. Oh, I mean, you're gonna die. How about you guys just walk over here? I don't see any other walls to drill. I mean, I could. Woohoo! Oh, nice. Guidance was excellent, and the stranded rock raider made it out safely. Well done. Mission complete. Oh, did not. I must have fallen asleep. Um, let's see. Uh, do do do. Let's make sure I didn't get. Oh no, I'm good. Um. You know what? I'm gonna go just explore this game. Because I wanna know what's all in here. Play custom levels. Oh, I have to make them. Oh, I have to download them from other people? That's cool. Another Redux map is larger. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through here and see. Um, oh, there's no discussion here. We just post. Is there a ranking of the best ones? Theo did some speed run. Also, I think this, this is only one thing that you can. This gets balanced. I really hope this gets balanced out in the future. I think if electric fences can't be a one shot kill then you should have real fences that can like hold back. I feel like, yeah, I think they're kind of right, but kind of wrong. With every fence spam picture, I wonder why I designed maps with monsters as a challenge. Uh, I don't think you're wrong because we have to be selective with your monsters. I feel like then. Although, since we can't train how monsters move, like, you can't just tell them to go, like, attack, not, like, get, don't run into fences and stuff, it is kind of difficult into security and solve the problem itself. Okay, I am joining this chat. The only reason I spam fences is the only way to get crystals back. Yeah, that is true. Um, I found a bit of mining laser micro, but yeah, there's nothing like a fence spam. Yeah, I did just fence spam, like, super hardcore. Uh, interesting. I, I don't know about that. So, some dude did do speed runs, but I don't think there's any, like... In the stream channel, say to, so to say. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I don't know who this is, but maybe I can look them up. So I'm going through the uh, uh, Discord of Manic Miners to try to like figure out cool things about it. I might see like uh, who has like cool custom levels and just like go get those, because some of them look pretty cool. If you don't mind me saying. Uh, yeah, we're gonna quit for a little bit here. Um, let's see. We could talk about prepping. That would be cool. Um, yeah, I guess it's, you know, I didn't think... 
I thought Odinata was going to be on here tonight. We talked about going through this a little bit more. Um, so a couple of things that we added was the educational part. Um, now I understand that this is like super selective plus resource intensive, but if you can get your second citizenship slash passport, just do it. Uh, you know, the obvious Voosh comment, but it's, it is true. Even if you disagree, or if you don't like him, uh, Knowing your neighbors is good for multiple reasons. We don't have a real running like community sense right now, so knowing them in general, I think, fixes several problems. Um, I think this part's important. Like, if you're in Denver, you, your supply lines are not that secure. Uh, a, you're pretty well surrounded by much, much more rural country. Uh, that you know, it can happen here as a podcast to like give you maybe some background on how something like this could look. Um, however, uh, I do realize that that's like um, something to take into consideration. I live in a port city. Uh, I you know feel like even if I had to get out, I could get out via ferries. Um, I have three citizenships in fact, so I'm pretty safe all around, but you know, just take your situational uh, awareness into consideration. Um, uh, do, do, do. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I don't think we talked. I think we t touched on this, but we realize as good as a um, a gun is, that there are several other uh, things that might be just as useful. Um, especially like for hunting purposes, a gun is not a great use of ammunition. Um, in certain situations, if it's the happening, um, we went over that. I thought about tools actually a lot. Uh, hammer and saw. So both getting a metal saw, a hacksaw type, and then getting a crosscut or Japanese saw for larger woodwork is pretty good. Multi tool never hurt nobody. You should have a utility knife and a multi tool like on hand. I would say all four of these tools you should have on hand if you, uh, well if you're alive, quite frankly. Um, let's see, a gas mask. I gotta go over, uh, gas mask. Uh, that's not good. Um, oh yeah, maps. Uh, both a road map, but also a topo map of your local area wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, one thing that that will, uh, help with is just, like, uh, well, situational awareness. If it came, push came to shove, and there was need for advan a geographical advantage, but also just uh, knowing how your road system works. Like I ninety ends in a zero, it means it runs east west. Um, ninety five, or uh, the four or five runs northwest. Uh, same with ninety five, stuff like that. Like know how your roads work, know where they are. Uh, this will be important again. It's... Be expecting to have to travel how your parents or grandparents might have had to. Um, well, either you know where you're going or you're lost. Uh, Vaseline. Uh, I put this on the list. I wonder if Odinata will agree. It's kind of the only one thing that might be a bit of a discussion, but a couple reasons it's great on cuts. Uh, it's, you know, if you're wearing a gas mask, you can uh, seal it a little bit better with Vaseline on the outside. Um, you can put it on your brow, and it'll keep sweat out of there. This is something I picked up when I was playing Australian football. Line of uh, Vaseline above the brow, you're in pretty good, pretty good spot. Um, so that's going to be fun. What other good stuff? Uh, needle and thread, yep. Bivy, hold on, I'm gonna have to pull everything off the screen for a second. Um, this person, somebody in a chat that I was talking in, um, gave me a pretty good resource, but I don't have, I didn't ask permission to share it, so I won't, not yet at least, but let me see what they have that might be. Uh, might be smart. Um, 
Oh, I guess, yeah, that's a pretty good point. You're gonna have this also have a compass. Um, just even a little cheapo thing, it, it does do the job. Trauma kit. Yeah, I feel like that's, I don't know. Yeah, some sort of fishing rod, probably not a bad idea. Mountain home? I don't know what a mountain home is. Um. Fire bow. Huh. Yeah, this might be a short one tonight. I uh I expected Oda and Otto to jump on, but you know what? Actually I do have something I want to go over. It's cause I did my audio levels were crap when we did it before, but um it's something that I want to reiterate with better audio right now. Uh or not right now, but like going over it tonight. I was gonna do it in a recorded thing, but if I finish off with it uh, but then I have to learn DaVinci. No, I'm gonna do it offline. Never mind. Uh, I might go do offline work here in a second. Um, I don't think you have to wood uh, stack up wood, but stacking up nails uh, is a good idea. Paracord. Still, I'll say it saved me in Japan once when I was hiking. Hike with it. Get it for a survival kit. Get it for an emergency kit. Just have it. You never know. Um, so yeah. Also, what channel? Just to be a bit, a bit, uh, you know, uh, self-promotional in some way. Um, let's see, do I want to design forward a bit tonight on stream? I don't know. I probably ought to, but Fusion's not even up. Um, I gotta get better at fusion. I should do that offline though. I really wish we were working in SolidWorks. I have like a, a couple hundred per assembly in SolidWorks right now. Uh, I'm just I'm too skilled in it, you know. I got it. I got those skills moving too well. Uh, do do do. Yeah, I need to go through some more sources to figure out what I would really want for this. Keyhole saw, yeah, no, you don't you don't need any of this. Let's see. Let me bring that mic back into my mouth so I can actually uh, say things at a level that is useful for the people to actually hear me. Um, yeah, let's look at gas masks for a hot second. Oh, I'm actually curious if they commented on my comment. Oh, it's on. It's over there. Shoot. Boop. There we go. Oh, wait, was I just not down far enough, maybe? Oh, they got rid of my comment, but maybe they agreed with it, maybe they didn't. Oh. Uh... I am stupid. However, I did not read down far enough. So... Let me put a comment next to gas mask under PPE. Check. Dash um, survival guide. I think that's uh, that's useful. Let's see. They suggest uh, it accept 40 millimeter cartridge should be purchased at least latest production date possible should be in excellent condition. Yeah, that makes sense. C B O N rated. What does that mean? C B O N rated. 
uh, a few hundred yards. What chance anybody will expose a chemical? Yeah, you don't have to worry about nuclear threat. Chemical threat, though, yeah. Something the average person needs to have on hand. Uh, also, if you live in like California and you're near the fires, it's a good idea just to have a decent respirator on hand, I feel like. I don't think you need to, like, you know. Uh, yeah, just, you're gonna have fire seasons. It's gonna suck. Um. CPR and rated canisters use activated charcoal, protects them against most chemical, biological, radiological, radiological, and nuclear hazards. CP3N canisters are 3M's most effective alternative that will protect you against OC, tear gas, uh, viral hazards, and is suitable for all P100 applications. Most filters only last a few hours in heavy contaminated environments, so you need a plentiful stock. Um, that's a good point. CPON slash or CP three rated. I'll probably work on that more. Um, so yeah, have like the nitrogen gloves that you would use. I don't think they're not nitrogen. Uh, it starts with that. Those disposable rubber gloves that like doctors and people use. Reusable, like um, something you would use for like washing dishes in a sink and then leather gloves are kind of your three best options there. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, this is going to look better, you know, educational resources and thoughts. I think is a decent thing. It can happen here is a pretty good podcast. Uh, so if you ever just uh, low on time, or, you know, sorry, not low on time, have a lot of time on your hands, I would totally recommend um, listening to it. Ruins of the Old World, the uh, and the Guide to Avoiding the Worst Pitfalls Along the Road to a Better World, and on the Possibility of a Second Civil War. It can happen here. Accepts collapse as a given and tries to provide a roadmap for survival. So, you know. It's a good resource. Um, was I looking at? No. Well, let's see what gas masks they have. I would say go for respirator. Oh, P100. Yeah, I do realize it is a decent chunk, but do, you know, get more cartridges, get extra filters. Whole kit and caboodle never hurt nobody, you know? Make sure that I'm not like forgetting him. Yeah, okay. As long as it's not too too crazy. Um, I guess then, since I have the stream, we're gonna talk about Shinzo Abe real quick. Um, so unfortunately he was assassinated yesterday. Um even if you disagree with his politics, uh, an assassination is not useful. Uh, even if you thought he was that, like, does die of a threat. So whoever did do this, I, I think is just boneheaded. And Pierre, what does the AP News say? We're going to talk about one thing I did see crop up. Um, so I won't show the assassination. All the, obviously in Japan, a gun assassination is pretty crazy, as well as um, a political assassination in general. Um, the last one that I could find, there was one in 2007 that was done by the mob, um, but like that's not quite, as, quite the same thing, you know? Uh, the last one I found was actually back in the 1960s, where a socialist uh, candidate got shot. Uh, so this is who was arrested, a part of the Japanese Marine uh, Force confessed to the crime, but his motive remains unclear. We'll talk about this aspect of it. 
in a second. Um, maybe such thing as noble in the U.S., but this took place in Japan, and I am shocked. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the clock is going backwards. Uh, do 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 decline to give a four nine saying the reason, same reason. What well, uh, was less surprised? I think there are various problems that Japan has now were brought about by this administration. She said, "I'm against Abe." Yeah, um, when I was there in Japan, there was a kind of an idea that they only really had one party, um, and that like um, that there wasn't essentially the idea of a democracy through that. Interesting point. I, I'm not sure how correct or wrong the individuals I was speaking to there was, but it was an interesting take by locals. Bloodshed there have been the past six decades. Yeah, literally. Most of which the liberal to which has uh do do do. Yep, early nineteen sixties. There were some crazy things back in the sixties. Oh wait, was this literally the one I was thinking of? It is the nineteen sixties, yeah. This was the last political assassination uh that was like purely like political and not power based struggle, I think. The Yakuza killed some mayor of a town. Um by and large uh, you can think that politics. Uh, let's see. So, assassinated during speech. Uh, the individual uh, literally made a homemade gun. Though he like used like three rolls of duct tape and stuff. Um, Shinzo Abe, false suspect. So this also happened. Um. I don't know if I want to open that. I don't know if I want to open that. Fabricated tweets. Here we go. This is pretty good. Um, did not tweet a statement. Abe's verified uses a different name. <laughs> yeah, this is a. That's a, that's a hell of a claim. So yeah, there's been some fake uh, things circulating around. Um, I'm trying to find if I can get to the uh, fake uh, fake maybe instead of false fake suspect. Uh, kind of curious, but I don't really know how YouTube feels about that. I, I don't trust that source because I just don't know that one. Suspect's home. Uh, do, do, do. Well, maybe I'll just be more direct about it. So we already talked about who who had shot him. Uh, was this guy um, and again a homemade gun uh, it was only able to shoot two shots though uh, it, was, it looked like a double barreled shotgun um, there's no way uh, that thing could have done anything else it was it was meant for one shot at one shot only type of uh, thing made it to questioning it'll be interesting motive wise I used the harshest words to condemn this act. So I, 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 I sometimes find that this type of language amusing. It's like, yeah, makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm not bashing it for its contents. Act of terrorism, try to squash the freedom of speech. Can never be heard again. The ultra-nationalist rally the Koreas and China's a push to create. He saw more normal defense posture, angered many Japanese, failed to achieve his chair's goal of formally rewriting the U.S. drafted pacifist constitution because of poor public support. There was, there is a strong bent of nationalism. Their history is pretty nationalistic in general um, and xenophobic. Their immigration policy is super xenophobic. Loyalists say his legacy... Does that? 
Yeah, a lot of these guys have super, super like dated uh, family history when it comes to politics as well. <laughs> Let's see. A cowardly vile assassination. I mean, yeah, all assassinations are... I think though making your own gun is... Well, at least you had to put more effort into it. Uh, let's see. If I just take a uh, type in, um, if I type in assassination, no, we're not looking at it. Um, four uh, chan maybe. I don't want to go on to four chan. Thinking Kujima. This is what I'm trying to think. I'm what I think I'm finding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Um, admitted to thinking the connection was real. Uh, so there was like a random lefty. I don't actually. I don't know how randomly the uh, the individual was posted, but this is completely fake. This other suspect that I'm trying to get at. Um, suspect. Uh, but yeah, there was an idea that it was uh this individual I believe who I don't believe is the one. I don't believe that's this guy. It's uh, I don't. I think it's this guy, um, in this picture, who's not the assassin. So let's read into it, huh? Four Chan, also far right politicians. Uh, this has happened many times in the past, where um. There's a suspect, either like the the uh, Atlanta Olympic bombing had a false suspect too. Um, obviously, there's some political motivation behind a false suspect in a couple cases. If you look back at like uh, Germany back in the 1919-1920 time period during the revolutions, um, Rosen Luxemburg and Karl Ellipix, always mess up his last name, uh, were also blamed for a lot of social unrest that they were not a part of. Uh, because they were either in jail or in a different city. Yeah, he's a famous J League player. Said that he's all of these things. Okay, so this is the the original quote unquote joke. Seems to originate from 4chan, um, then picked up by a French comedian who posted it, then retweeted by a, a far right politician. Who co-founded? Holy crap! Which means conspiracy is never far away. What? The Daily Paper Liberation called the organization where. <laughs> Good God! So you know, gutter tier shit posting out of 4chan by shitheads who never need to see the light of day when it comes to the content they create. Um, posts some fake bullshit about a random dude. Who then gets picked up by a comedian? Who then gets picked up by a far right politician? So you know, we don't know what the motive is. We know who the actual assassin is. Uh, so you know, just throwing it out there that um, I'm free now. Okay. Uh, do do do. Oh fuck! 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 We'll we'll edit that out. Um, I knew we took a joke. Let's, uh, I'm gonna pause stream for just a second. Can I? I wish I could just pause stream, but I don't have a pause thing going yet. Uh, so. Give me a second, I. Need to get my story straight. Let me shrink. Let me get my phone out and just shoot him a text back. Also, by the way, use Signal, use WhatsApp, maybe. I think that's end-to-end -end encrypted. 
I'm not even really I, I'm not even really sure that uh, being on um what you call it's a good idea. Oh, let me get this padding just a bit more right. There we go. Alrighty. I'll, I'll see when Odinata jumps on. Um, so, yeah, that's as far as what we know from um, uh, Shinzo Abe's assassination. Uh, the cust the um, the assassin is in custody. It's not the Rando 4chan ship post. Um, it's not because he tweeted out, I have dirt on Hillary Clinton, weirdly enough. Um, it's none of those things. It will be interesting to see what the motive is, but it will take time to get that. Um, I think the only interesting things about this are that the gun was homemade. Um, we don't have a motive. That will be interesting. Um, and Fallout will be interesting. Obviously, it's pretty shocking. Um... Da, 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 da. So, let's see. Uh, I just have to text him back. I got kind of nothing. I'll be going for an hour and a half. I guess I got more in me. So I just texting out another. I'll make sure that never happens again. Uh, I should probably do that until he's actually on just in case he pops up on cam because he doesn't want to cam yet oh hello here i am whoa ho ho oda nada welcome how you doing totally lost track of time but here i am no oh, you know what? that happens to all of us i definitely did a lot of that myself today was a long one um, let me... I see you're uh, on the dock. Yeah, I just so, just went back to it for you. Here's something I'm thinking. Yep. It would make sense to break this down in terms of, like, how long you're going to need this kit for. Like, is this, like, the power grows out for, like, a few days? Is this, like... So you mean a tiered list? Well, not, like, a tier list, but, like, maybe even, like, a spreadsheet. Have different columns, like... One column's water, like, if you're just going to be, like, like a, like a week, maybe, you can just have a bunch of bottled water. But if you're going to be, like, for longer than that, you're going to need some filters. Gotcha. Versus, like, for the first few, like, kind of time spans, like, week, few months, few years, like, civilization collapses. Like, for the last one, you're going to need to, like, actually have, like, seeds and <laughs> the ability to, like, do agriculture. Yeah. For the first few, you can kind of just have, like, some canned goods. That I completely agree with. Um, before we jump into that, and I, I can pull up a sheet that we can link into here, and I, mm -hmm. I can share that with you. The couple of quick things that I added were getting two different types of saws, both a hacksaw and a like a wood saw, essentially. Like to do like joinery work. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like you know, if you're cutting panels to go over windows, you know, or like yeah. you're cutting off uh, metal tubing. Just kind of good to have on hand. I would also say that if you're just a, if you, if your family doesn't have these and or you live on your own at this point, like in an apartment, you should have some of these. 
Well, I mean, like woodworking tools and like I would I would start to add like soldering tools if you're gonna like be doing stuff for more than like a few like weeks. Yeah. Um, like you actually need to like maintain a, like a, equipments. Yeah. Like. Yeah, if you need to maintain like your flashlights. Yeah, for the most part, you're probably just gonna be like needing to cut wood to get firewood. That. And I feel like you don't really need like until you're getting into like the weeks kind of time frame. I really need to worry about that, but I do agree. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I added was Vaseline. Um, that actually will go under PPE, I guess. No, that will go first aid? I don't know. The reasons I added it were a couple. Number one, they're good for cuts. Um, number two, uh, it it's really good to put above your eyebrows for sweat. So if you got a, you know, an intense situation for some reason might be helpful to have some not sweat in your eyes and then thirdly if you have a gas mask you can uh rim the edge of it essentially with it and it's a little bit better of a seal i was just gonna get straight into like gas mask stuff yeah uh you should check oh, there you, you should, are yep you should uh check that doc by the way somebody uh sent me that uh, i don't have I, I forgot to ask them if they're okay if i stream it so i can't pull it up but they have done a lot of legwork. Damn. So, Pretty cool. yeah. I also I love the prepping for the habiting. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's in That's this. It's like a like, happening pun or? Yeah, it's just kind of like upside down peas. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> but yeah, it's in the survival guide where they go over a bunch of it. It's um, linked up here. Uh, this was yeah. the other section that I added. Uh, I added the It Can Happen Here podcast. Stuff you might like. Stuff you might like to, you know, brush up on. I also said take in consider your location. Because if you're in, say, like Denver, you won't have supply lines. If you're in, you know, Seattle, San Francisco, Boston, stuff like that. Yeah. You might have shipments once in a while from, like, say, Canada. I would argue you probably shouldn't be relying on that. And you're probably going to be getting shipments from like much more of the world. I'd actually imagine Canada would be destabilized and I think it really destabilized the U.S. Uh, potentially. Um, but like... They're not really exporting massive amounts of like... They aren't really a great exporting like economy either, primarily. Not primarily, but I think in a situation like that where there might be... There, there might, there might, there's a better chance that you might be able to get a thing or two that you don't have to rely on. But if you're in Denver, you're definitely up a river. No pun intended for Denver. Um, know your neighborhood, but also if you have the ability to get a second or third citizenship, go get one. Um, no apparent reason. My... I like the idea of your neighborhood, though. A lot of the stuff's going to be like bugging in. Like You don't really want to plan to like hit the road as soon as something bad happens. Like, yeah. You're probably going to be staying where you are. It's where all your stuff is. Yep. And uh, know who's skilled in what. Exactly. And also, just start to cement an idea of community. Um, but also, get a road map and a topo map. Um, you know. Also, download those. Yeah. Um, Roadmaps, you need to know how roads, how the highway system works, like the uh, zero versus like uh, an odd number running north, south, east, west trick. Um, I don't really need to know those. Those are like handy. Just like know how to read highway signs, though. That's true. But also... Uh, it's not given anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but also if you like, you know, if you ever needed to know what a strategic uh, location in a city would be, a topo map is a good idea. Uh, yeah, so well, actually, I have found that I've done a lot of stuff off top off topography maps when I was geocaching back with my dad. Oh, fun! And they don't tell you as like about what's important, which is like tree cover. Oh, interesting. That's a good point. Uh, I was just thinking purely high ground, low ground, valley situations, yeah. um, which is decent enough to know. But yeah, cover cover is also equally as important in that situation. Mm -hmm. Um. It was actually a really good topo site. Hold on. So you can also download all of Wikipedia onto your computer. That's a good point. Um, that's not who I was thinking, though. Maybe it was these guys. There was a website that one of my old hiking 
teacher buddies uh, showed me and it was like super great because I used it when no this is not what I was thinking of but it also does the trick um, I'll go find that later oh topomat.com yeah this is it you know where should I go you know I was talking about Denver Yeah. It's like insane topography was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you go oh, it's that geography? I don't know what that means. But that's kinda cool. Oh that's the uh, rock type I think. Uh, uh Let's go over to New England, I'm interested. Whoops, that was the wrong way. Yeah, you can see the glacial retreat. What's that green? I mean, it's uh, Pioneer Valley, obviously, but yeah. is that a rock type? Uh, I'm thinking climbing. If that's all the the nice, then that would make sense. Nice. I wish it. It just says geography. That doesn't say it. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, there's not a legend. Oh, maybe those up here. Nope. So, you know, there's places to get maps from, essentially, is, is that answer. Um, but I think this is the big one to, like, really know what you need. Mm -hmm. I did a good deal of research and I actually figured out how to make my own filters for a standard issue gas mask. That's sick. Uh, we should... Principle. Yeah, we should put a file out on this thing then for that. Yeah. I was making um like kind of three D printed masks during COVID, and then it very quickly became uh three D printed masks for the BLM protests. But I never got the chance to use those. Yeah, um, that is pretty good though. Uh, did you ever test one out? I forgot you were planning on getting uh fumed. I popped one of uh, our friends. Like, you know the uh, the smelling salts? I remember those. Remember Tony's bottle of smelling salts? Like the, like, I like remember the being on the ground thing. because of that, yeah. Yeah, so I could just stick that underneath the gas mask and take deep breaths for like minutes and be fine. It was oh, a slight irritation. That's pretty effective then. I mean, yeah. especially if the idea is like, hey, we're like a year into this, we're out of like replacements, a 3D printable replacement even if it's not perfect, yep. isn't a bad idea. No, it it's pretty fucking good. It's pretty uh, fucking good. Because um, you can put activate charcoal in there. Yeah. Which is what I made it out of, which is basically what the main ones are made out of, like the, the real ones. So to make activate charcoal, that's also not super hard to do homemade. You just got to like get some sealed canister and heat that up really hot. That's true. So. Uh, I just put that on there to uh, eventually share that. I think we should make a spreadsheet. Okay. I think that would be fruitful. I think um, I was playing uh, that Lego Rock Raiders game that I love. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure one of the mods checked in on the stream to make sure that I wasn't doing politics. Uh, so we, we have one viewer for like 30 seconds. 40 seconds. <laughs> nope, they really are just doing rock raiders. Goddamn. <laughs> yep. This wasn't a, a play on words because people were raiding the mineral resources of other countries. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, let me. Oh, nope. Uh, that spreadsheet just got shared with you. I'm also moving it to the shared drive real quick. Move. I went over the um, the uh, Shinzo Abe. Um, Dude, that I would. Uh, yeah, I. Sean was telling me about that. That shit is. I'm. I'm not saying that I'm like supporting this. I don't really know anything about Shinzo Abe, but I just like. I think it's a. 
it's not a bad thing that people are able to fabricate reasonably effective weapons without any resources. Like, I'm kind of pro ghost gun. Well, so, I mean, that's <laughs> a hot that ghost thing? That's a hot take. Um, I don't think so. Um, I mean, obviously, unless you, like, completely take away every single thing that could ever be pressurized, then you, like, I almost thought, well, I'll say this in a second, but, like, unless you take anything that can be, like, pressurized away, there's no way to ever stop ghost guns. Yeah. Like, so unless, like, you're, like, we will go back to the Stone Ages, you will have a hammer, and you will have a nail, and that's it. Uh, you can't, you can't do anything. Um, uh, also today, I almost lost an eardrum. I was working with a nitrogen tank, and I... It was connected to a solenoid uh, through some was it one of those solenoid pressure valves? Yeah, and oh. I thought I had cleared the lines, and I go to turn off the canister fully, and all of a sudden, I, the loudest fucking bang. It damn near blew my eardrum. Yeah. Uh, everyone from the office came to the lab to make sure we were okay. It was just a tube that it exploded, nothing else. Yeah, thank God. Uh, but yeah, so that was fun for me today. It was uh, like an actual like rupture, or was there just like a solenoid valve like popping? It was just the tube, the the tubing between the solenoid and the and the um, regulator. Oh, it popped off. Yeah, what I think happened is I accidentally turned it open, realized I'd gone the wrong way, completely closed it then closed the regulator, which caused it to literally have, like, nowhere else to go somehow. Because it wasn't a bang, and then, like, a shh. It was just a bang. Interesting. So I had accidentally made a little pressure vessel. A little little tiny mini pressure vessel. Yeah, because, you know, the thing is, I knew that I had to take the the regulator off if I wanted to transport it, because (laughs) if you drop a tank and the regulator breaks the... uh, the, 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 the nozzle on a tank, you now have a missile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very, very dangerous. So, how do you think we should structure this dock? Um, I think, so, a column should be like time scale. Time scale. So, we're talking. Uh, Day. Like. What uh, is zero to seven? Like, this days. is like this is no, like just do a day. This is your house burned down, and you need enough stuff to like make it to your friend's apartment. Uh, one week. Then, like, I'd say like three to four days, then a week. Because what you need for like three to four days versus one day, like having like backpacked before, it's like massively different. Yeah. So then after one week, what, maybe a month? Yeah, then like three months, then a year. One year. Uh, and we'll freeze. Where's my freezing? I want five years, then collapse of civilization. <laughs> collapse uh so is row one like objects so i would say that's probably going to be water then food then i guess we should uh, refer back to the old list and see what the big categories were yeah uh oh clothes yeah, clothes. Uh, first aid kit. Probably yeah. should be one of your bigger ones. Tools, I think tools is a good good column. Tools. I'd say make it just medical rather than like first aid kit oh. per se. Yeah, you're kind of right on that. Messed up. Let me clear formatting. Uh, medical, 
um, ignition sources. What do you mean by that? <laughs> like your lighters and shit. So like, is that like for cooking or for like? Oh no, starting. So like fire. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, I think that like, think less about like the fire. Think more about the end goal. Like, do you just want like a little propane stove? Do you want a little ferro rod? Like. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Are you trying to like cook? Do you want you to should you get like an actual like wood burning stove? Like should you just like Yeah have like a, a a pot and fire? Like could you have like a cauldron? That's a good point. Um Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so what actually goes like in here? Like when we talk about like water and like for, for like one day, that could be like bottled water. Uh, I'm special. Your stream is closed for my from board. I I accidentally hit um. Control W. Nice. I is a genius. Also, have you seen this freeze uh, column freeze row thing? Um, no. So essentially, what it allows you to do is keep a heading title. Like row one will always be the top row, column A will always be that column A. It's pretty good. Well, I mean, I can't see because I didn't open the doc. I'm just, oh. I've been watching your screen. I can open the doc if you don't want to stream to me anymore, but. Oh, no, no, it's all good. Um, That's really stream screen share. Yeah. Oh, wait, am I not properly screen sharing with you right now? No, it just popped out like a minute ago. Oh. Oh, the, that's because, yeah, I deleted it. Um, so essentially, when I mean freeze a column, freeze a row, row one stays the top of the doc no matter what. Nice as hell. Yeah, it, it, I see what you mean. That's huge. This when you work on like bombs and stuff, it looks so good. On what? Like bill of materials. So like bill of materials, <laughs> bills of material. On what? <laughs> bill, B of O materials M. There's yeah. no extra. There's no extra B. I I swear to yes. God. I swear to God. YouTube. Bill of material. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, as a, you know, when you're working on like big spreadsheets, it looks really good if you do this. Um, so let's see, uh, do, do, do how else do I want to suggest that, I guess, but yeah, um, What else should go in there? The uh, like. It's also shared with you if you want to jump on it. By the way. Yeah, probably defense. 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 Oh, as a column, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, you know what you should have. Um, is lockbox. Lockbox, yeah, Fire, probably. Like, just for, like, important docs. Oh, yeah, put all your, like, important stuff in the lockbox. We should make a um a separate, like, area on that doc that's just, like, general tips. Yeah. Like, just general things that you should have always. Like, having, like, your birth certificates, passport, like, important records all in a firebox is, like, key. Yep. So is this in our folder, or did you share with me individually? Uh, both. Cool. Uh, do, do, do. Things you should have 
a week this of the situation. Uh, you should always store water, regardless of whatever social climate you live in. That is true. You should have all the tools on a list. You should absolutely have a lockbox for your important piece. Um, you should automatically have a gas mask. No, I'm joking. I've gone 23 years without one. Um, you did you just get one? Or okay. do you still not have one? I'm going to be going 24 years, most likely. Oh man, my birthday is <laughs> next month. Oh crap, my mom's birthday is in two days. <laughs> Good thing I can read a calendar. Happy birthday to my mom. <laughs> oh, you should have a first aid kit in the house. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, you never know. Uh, you should have white sources in the house. Like, uh, that's just stuff that you should always have. Like, that's yeah. a one-day thing. Yeah. Like, if you're working on your car, you need a headlamp. It makes life so much easier than using your flashlight. What, a headlamp, or...? Yeah, when you're working on, yes. like... Yeah. Yes. I was, like, changing my, like, headlights on the Subi. And I like, you know, you're trying to do one hand crap and you're like yep. you're trying to act, you just get a headlamp. Yep, doing projects with headlamps is huge. Yeah. You want to know what I want to get? You know those, um, I've been doing a lot of like, kind of like pretty up close stuff, mm -hmm. but like those old timey like tinkerer, like, like magnifying glass goggles. I want some of those. Oh, do you mean like jeweler's glasses? Yes, jeweler's glasses. That would be so nice with soldering. Yeah, okay, I'll, I want to show you one other thing when we're talking about soldering. Yeah, these Oh, guys, yeah, yeah, these that's exactly cool. what I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> Yo, there's over 15 bucks on Amazon. Stabilizer. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I don't know if I can. Uh, BYU, BYU um, thingy. This. Let's see. BYU for small reasons known for the compliant mechanisms. I'm not quite sure why they got into them, but there's one in particular that I'm looking for. Thingy verse. And I think this would be cool if it could work with soldering. Um, this might be a long search because I don't immediately see it. Um, that's cool. It's a little pop-up stand for soldering ions. <laughs> it's not even what I was looking for. Uh, I swear I've sent this link to somebody before. Uh, most popular. Well, okay, so essentially what it is, it's like this like three triangle thing mm -hmm. that uh, you can stick like a rod in there and no matter how like you can like shake the end of it and it won't move the, the beginning of it. It will stay like pointed yeah. where you're at. Um, uh -huh, that makes sense. Sphere, uh... Uh, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm looking at all these jeweler's glasses, and none of them seem to be steampunk enough. That's <laughs> that's my issue. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Uh, that's steampunk. <laughs> oh, here it is. This is the one I was thinking of. Wait, does this dude have the the file? 
So essentially, let's see if he gets into it. As you can see, you can displace the back end of it without displacing mm -hmm. the front of it. Oh. Yeah. And I've printed one off, and they do work. Well, to what end would you do that? Like, imagine if, uh, like, I don't have super steady hands. Like, dysgraphia isn't known for the fine motor scales. Um, yeah. So, like, this would be kind of yeah, useful. That, that, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't move. You wouldn't be able to move it at all. Like, you could change the angle, but you can't... Like, it doesn't move. <laughs> I think if the base was magnetic, because the, my problem is holding it steady. Once I'm where I'm at, I can hold it down. So if the base had a magnetic switch that I could control with a foot uh, pedal, I could then be steady. And then all I could, oh, all I had to do is pull back. So you could like push it in and out and like, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. That, cause yeah, my problem is like trying to hold it where it needs to be for long enough. This is another one. I hadn't seen this one before. That looks like it taken. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I find these things really cool. Um, but yeah, you see the problem, like obviously with this, it's fixed, right? But yeah. a magnetic base that I can turn on and off with a foot pedal, I could then actually be able to move it around quickly and adjust. I think that the the limiting factor really is the like the fact that it doesn't move at all. It's gonna be pretty hard to use. Yeah. Um. Essentially, it needs to like the problem is you need to be free when you're free, and then moving when you're moving. You know, yeah. and frozen when you're frozen. Okay, a bit of a sun lock, but I think these things are very cool. Uh, very. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll get the not steampunk looking glasses. Oh well. I can't tell if I even want to get one that's an LED light or just go for one that doesn't because I'm using a headlamp anyways, most likely. Yeah. Oh, I didn't eat dinner once I got back from the gym. Ooh. I was thinking about getting a beer in me, but I figured that might hit me pretty hard. Beer for dinner. Um, I actually had a terrific beer that you should try, by the way. Uh, mm. Sea Dog uh, Ale, or Blueberry Ale. Ooh. Uh, the aftertaste was a delicious thing at Blueberry. I'm not a big Blueberry fan. This was delicious. Um, I would uh, I would actually say classify. By the way, these first two columns as your bug out bag. Yeah. Like both of those columns, like probably should be a bag. Like one of those is like a day pack. One of those is a backpacking bag. Yeah. If you got a backpacking bag, just keep your your three to four day kit in there. Yeah. This is probably gonna overlap. I mean, really, the only thing is you really need for like three to four days is just like a water filter, unless you have like either either a water filter or like one of those big drums full of fresh water. But yeah, I'm just looking up uh, liter sizes, because mm. uh, you know I, I have no idea. Thirty to fifty, yeah, I think you can get away with thirty to fifty. Like, I don't think you need 80. Like, I have a 75 liter. It's going to be really good for me in a situation yeah. like this, but, like, the average person can get probably get away with anything 30 plus. Mine's around 60, and I think that's perfect. Uh, I'll bump it up to 50 plus uh, liter then. Yeah, because I think 30 is pretty small. But yeah, definitely having one of those. I have a great Osprey one that I love. Mine's also Osprey. Yeah. Um, I grab presents. Nice. Uh, McGregor is also really good. Mm. Um, although I ran into one problem, that, but that's because I was starting to use straps as uh, weight-bearing straps. Because I was the mule for the backpacking trip. Yeah. And that didn't go well. <laughs> I was literally whipping <laughs> Whipping straps off each day by accident. That's not it. If I got lost, the the group would have died. I would have had like four tents to survive in, 
and they would have all died. <laughs> you have a tent for your tent to put your tent in? I could have made a mega tent. It's like mega desk, but tents. Yeah. <laughs> they would have just found me living in luxury. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. So, I think if you're looking at anything past a month, you need to probably uh, have a filter with it. Yeah, exactly. Like, you knew a drum for a bit, and quite honestly, I've, like, I think, I've, I've used the filters before. The one you probably want to get would be, like, the one I, I recommended earlier, like, the MRS Mini Works, because yeah. it has a really nice ceramic filter. Like, it, it speaks volumes when I pull out my parents' old water filter, and they still sell their replacement cartridges for it, because they still sell the same filter. Yeah. And then I lose it and then buy the same one because I have extra cartridges for it. Like, it's a phenomenal filter. Like, especially in terms of, like, life. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think for the, actually, but, for the three to four days, you could also get away with just a pack of bottled water. Exactly, yeah. Um, but after that, I mean, by the week... You don't you, want to move. Yeah. At the end of a week, though, you're going to need a, a drum. Yeah. Um, and three to f by a month, you actually probably would need filter. Um, I would say that pretty much goes for everything. Does that look about right? I don't know what you need if civilization collapses water wise, other outside of a filter. I do. Um, Beefy one of those filter hours, like. Like or a filter that's made out of like parts you can replenish. I'd say get rid of the drum for the one year. That's gonna be all water filter at that point. But you're still gonna need storage. You're gonna need that's the drum. Correct. That's true. You are yeah. correct. At all points, you're gonna need to have storage. Um, drum is just an element of that. Um. Oh, we should probably recommend Nalgene's. Oh, yeah. I looked at... I'll, I'll, I'll be sponsored by Nalgene. Oh, how I much are those going these. for? I got 200 bucks. What the fuck? It's McMaster. McMaster has the shittiest prices. I'm sorry. Yeah, McMaster is a great cool. site, but if you look at the bearings or the linear rails, they are just dumb fucking expensive to the point I can't understand it. Like I I I don't know I I don't know how they're that expensive. Boggles my mind. Um. Uh. I would say you need a hoodie. That's maybe it. I don't know. For a day. Food-wise, like protein bars, you gotta get away with. By like civilization, you gotta need seeds. <laughs> exactly. Like, but it's also like seeds specific to your local area. Like, I know for a fact that like in New England, or we're, we're, we're like I'm from, mm -hmm. the Three Sisters is like the kind of like the go-to strat for easily growing food. That was like the old Native American technique where you have a corn, squash, and beans, I think, are the three. The corn stalk provides a vine for, yeah. Here, I'll let you Google it so I don't hazard too many statements here. Corn, bean, and squash. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I believe it's the corn is the, what the squash climbs with the spines, and then the beans provide a bunch of uh, nutrients in the soil. Because they have nitrogen fixing bacteria in their oh. nodes in there. Yeah. You realize you this is a sin. To do. What's a sin? Uh, multiple seeds in a field. No, oh, is that a sin? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's one of the Levitican laws is that you can't have that a makes sense. you can't have a field with more than one type of seed. Yeah, I mean they were just trying to organize agriculture. I can't blame them. Yep, Leviticus nineteen nineteen. <laughs> Bad news bears. I, I always just think that crack, that cracks me up at the See, end of I the day. See, I think that makes this my favorite growing technique, just <laughs> out of spite. I will grow three plants just to spite you. 
Um, that's sick. Yeah, it's a super effective playing technique, but like, yeah, like I'm sure for every area there's a ton of, I expect particularly native techniques, but a ton of techniques too. There is a five sister. Oh. Yeah, companion planting is big, but whatever your local thing is. Yeah, it's going to be very based on a local, local knowledge. Ecology. Yep. Um, Yeah, I don't. I don't quite know. I'll have to think through more about what I, how this sheet should work. Um, we, you probably don't need any defense if you like one day thingy. Like, this really depends on what the day is. Yeah, if like your very long day. Yeah, I guess like you know, but, uh, if I you're think... in, if you're in Ukraine and you're running from your house for a day. You might want to bring a gun. <laughs> I mean, uh, how much is a gun really going to help you? Oh, in Ukraine, it might be. If, might be if you're being struck with mortars, it's probably not going to help you too much. Oh, yeah, but if you get it's cornered like, by Russians, you can just, you know. A single Russian, maybe. If you're cornered by anything larger than a single Russian, you should probably just surrender. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. What uh, are you talking about? D don't surrender. Oh, well, you're talking about... If, if we want to make the insurgency list, that's a different list. <laughs> that's a fair point. I'll make that fair. list. I'll make that list. That's fair. Um, but no, yeah, I, don't get captured by the Russians. It doesn't end well. You might as well be the one to pull it. Did you see what happened in Buka, by the way? Um, is that... Uh, there's been a lot of different names. Oh it yeah, be. it was one of the towns that got massacred. Yeah, that's why I was just saying, like, yeah, do it yourself. Go on on your own terms. Enjoy your last sunset, you know. That's how I see Our that. Rock. Yeah, just like uh, I would hate, hate to have to, you know, allow somebody else to do it. Um. Oh, my back it's starting to get to me. Um. We gotta get you. Life. Yeah, mm -hmm. I sat so long today. Uh, we gotta get you set up on stream, so you can also yeah. solo stream. Cause I might stream a uh, gaming tomorrow morning. Nice. Yeah. Um, I also am gonna do some recorded offline bits because my volume during some of the good segments that I wanted to clip were bad. So I might might have to go do that tomorrow too. Um. Sections you like. Hmm? What sections did you like? Uh, there was a Jimmy Dore piece that I did that will get plenty of mm. clicks because Jimmy Dore is being dumb. <laughs> like he's what like downplaying. Parts? He's like downplaying like Jan Six and shit. It's like, mm. <laughs> do, do you want to run that one back, bud? Uh, um, he does. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, yeah, that is that is his goal, I guess. Uh, or his. Not desired outcome, but outcome that will be happening. Uh, is his stated goal. Yeah, he also was anti-electorism during 2020. Electorism meaning like... like Vote third party on the federal uh, level. Which, again, I think local-wise, okay, yeah, sure. But on the federal level, unfortunately, there's just zero practicality. I mean, your your vote doesn't really do anything, anyways. So, I, well, live in a swing state. That's the yeah. Um, he's yeah. in California, but like you know, he has a big audience. Like there will be some Pennsylvanian that decided to vote for like the Green Party, which is sad. Um, if you want to jump on the dog, I'm gonna go fill up a water real quick. All right. Whichever. Uh, I stalled out on my way to the dock. Started looking at those glasses. Where is the dock? There it is. Not bad. Protein bars. All right, when are we into rice territory? I'd say definitely at one month you're in rice territory. Let's say like. 
preserved food. Yeah, at that point, you just gotta get the entire agricultural thing reinvented. Five years, could you go five years without, I mean, actually, theoretically, you could just hunt for all this. Huh. I'd say fishing's probably the most sustainable way to get food long-term without actually setting up a farm. Yeah. That's actually not on the prepping list with a fishing rod. I don't know where it goes, but I'll just put it under uh, under food, or just under like the general like good to have stuff. I have a really nice one that was given to me to a by a person who's unfortunately passed away now, and I really should use it in the memory. Oh, but I think more important than fishing supplies, I guess. Is also like fishing techniques. Because mm -hmm. there's some ways you can catch a lot of fish by putting them through like tubes and then catching them in the tubes as they go downstream without ever needing to uh, like fish. Yeah, also like trapping supplies. Yeah. Uh, because I was mentioning this earlier, but ammo might be a scarce thing to come by, potentially depending where you are and what type of uh, ammunition is needed. Uh, and wasting that on uh, food might not be a good idea. So trapping. Trap housing, if you will. Yeah. Fortunately, uh, due to how we have structured society, um, we produce a lot of rodents, and rodents are pretty easy to get. That is why I, when I was going through my prepping phase a while ago I thought that would be a really good idea to get a little BB gun you can get a ton of little pellets for those and it's pretty Ooh. easy to just like do the old uh, little steel drop tower and yeah. make some more little BBs but yeah you can make your own BBs in a cast bed. yeah you don't even have to cast them you know those old towers look up the um yeah the, yeah uh, like musket shot towers. But you don't even have to go that high to get a musket shot tower for a BB gun. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I think you could even just do that, like, in a chair. <laughs> just drop them into a bucket. Yeah. Probably. But yeah, like a BB gun for hunting small game. I think that's an OP strat. I'll be right back. Bet. Strong. Gun. How do BB guns work? Excuse me. I return. Nice. Look at the little BB gun. Yeah, I um, I'm curious what the mechanism is. I think it's air pressure a lot of the time. That's what I was thinking, which is a good thing. That's what you should hope to use. Yeah. Most sustainable. Yep. Some of them have kind of like compressed air, some of them are pump action. Yeah. I would suggest pump action. We invent rifle culture. BB rifles. Yeah, I mean, at that point, like, that's what you're doing. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> if you also, I guess this was a decent thing to know that if you're above, um, like, out west, it was pretty low. I'm trying to think of the exact number. Um, if you're above tree line, 
you can pretty much take any water and be decently guaranteed it's not going to kill you. Especially if it's coming off a glacier. That's true, but uh, just filter through a ceramic filter. Yeah. Let's see. Spare clothes, I don't know. Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, oh, it's already 1am. It sneaks up on you. It really does. Yeah, I mean... Oh wow, what? Two and a half hours. You've been going. Yeah. Do, 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 do. What'd you do for the first bit of it? I did Matic Miners, and then I went over the dock a little bit, and then I touched on Shinzo Abe. I played like a lot of Matic Miners. Uh, I figured out how to do lava missions finally again. It's uh, all the old tricks that like from childhood that comes streaming back um mm -hmm. i i try to figure out whether or not there was like an active speedrunning community uh because speedrunning is pretty cool if you you know about those summoning salt uh videos yeah if i can end up in a summoning salts video for speedrunning mine uh not minecraft but speedrunning a uh, manic minor lego rock we uh, remakes i'll be happy <laughs> dude no way there aren't people out there doing that Somebody had said that there was a dude who was doing that, but I didn't. Nobody had said that there was like official record keeping. So I kind of need to figure it out. Yeah. Some of those games, though, take forever. Um, there's also a lot of like. It, like, since it was like a, a little side project to a, a, like a different comic book that Lego was doing. Some of the game mechanics are kind of clunky. Yeah, oh, it's not surprising, but mm -hmm. I mean, hey, when has like clunky game mechanics stop speedrunners? That's uh, in fact, that's the the whole point. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like um, yeah, I found uh, where all the monsters spawn from in a single mission. Um, let's see. Uh. Bottled. Oh no. You could probably get up to a year before you will. Uh. Actually, I think this will work pretty well to kind of balance, like, have, um, the other doc to explain in detail like what the best options are for a lot of these different things yeah i definitely think it's important to like um uh like if you're going for the year that like you're transitioning into more permanent solutions mm -hmm. um so i kind of like the the transition from preser preserved to non uh Quite frankly, back driving that's probably not bad. We're talking medical. What do you think there? Um I would say like your most like average first aid kit from here. But then and probably even three to four. But if you're like maybe even a week. Dude, for some of some people like they're gonna need to like start thinking about stockpiling like prescriptions. Yeah, actually that's something that was in that is in here that they suggest is like, yeah, be ready with your medication. Um I'll put that under uh I'm gonna switch this to medical. Oh, I, uh, a stream last night didn't do too badly. Got seventeen. Oh, really? Got got seventeen views. That's a number of views. Yeah, and hopefully with stuff like this, we'll 
creep a couple more. So, clothing-wise, yeah. I mean, not really much you can do there until you start like hunting and tanning your own hide. But <laughs> uh, I think that like just having like, enough like just gear around, like I could, I probably wouldn't need to buy clothes another year or two right now. I think you're about right. Yeah. I, um, but you should have a way to do uh, laundry without needing running water. That, uh, but you should every yeah you should always be prepared for rain. Essentially, rain is your biggest enemy. Yeah. Um. Obviously, you have like a like a raincoat, have a winter coat if you're in a cold weather area. Have like, like appropriate. Yeah. Gear. Like even if weather. you're in California, you still need a raincoat. Yeah. Because even a raincoat's useful for other things. Wind. Generally speaking, they're the wind resistant. Uh, moleskin is mm. definitely something you need. Uh, your feet again. Your feet are your highest priority. Am I giving a little uh, background for what moleskin is? Uh, I feel like it's kind of a pretty niche. Yeah. Uh, your feet health is a top priority because weirdly enough if you don't have them you can't move more skin so more skin i don't know also like if you don't have um some kind of sanitization thing then you get infected blisters on your feet yep come over uh this is something to help heal up your foot uh, if you get a blister, it adds as Not like heal actually. Oh, uh, protect. Excuse me. Yeah, oh, helps in the healing process. Curing. If yeah. you already have a blister, it's too late for the moleskin. I thought you could put it over it. Well, you can, but the idea is like once it's the second you feel a hot spot, you yes. put moleskin on. It. Jump on it during the hot spot. Yes. Have you been using uh, headers on that doc? Um, uh, kind of. I'm gonna hop in there. Bet. I'm gonna link this doc. That's an ineloquent uh, in eloquent name, but there we go. I also have to get a keyboard because my mic doesn't allow me to get close to my screen, nor does my camera. You still on a laptop, or yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Go. Do 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 do. Why not pop pop baby go? Yes, get your moleskin jacket. Not quite what we're looking at here. <laughs> I did see that the uh, head of the Oath Keepers is uh, apparently maybe willing to testify in front of Jan Six, but only if it's live. Only if it's live. Which terrifies me if he's just going to make a call for violence. <laughs> Let's see why I saw that. No way the lem do it live. Test. Get fat. But only if it's live. The fact that he specifically wants it to be like live is why I'm afraid. I understand why somebody would want it to be live, but it also just seems like a great time to grandstand and make a call for, like, violence. Yes. Sedition. Oh yeah, I forgot, they had, they did hand out sedition charges.
Uh, by the way, to the audience, uh, the next testimony, uh, Jan 6th healing, is on the 12th. Yes, I think it's the 12th. Uh, I think it's a pretty good one, from what I had heard the topic or something. I think it starts to get into the nitty gritty details of all the other people who helped push this shit. I'm quite of the opinion that this is all going to lead to nothing because the Democrats are a bunch of pushovers. I agree with that, but at least when our history books are being burned, it's going to say there was a hearing and people said the things that were true. Somehow that doesn't bring me any comfort at all. <laughs> You're not wrong, it really doesn't. Um, yeah, it doesn't really help when historians in 100, 150 years say, wow, the Democrats were in the right. You know, they really they really took the high road every time. You know, for that, got to applaud them. And for that, they got slaughtered. Uh, crazy stuff, boys and girls, crazy stuff. Um. Let's get into clothing. Yeah. I mean, I feel like clothing actually not really does it need to be a column. Yeah, I think clothing is a pretty constant that you should pretty yeah. much have a, a your like, consistent go bag. Your clothing demands doesn't really change. Like if you go from like one month to three months, it's just kind of like becomes three times as much clothes. Yeah. Just, just have what you have. How most people make it much, much further with much, much less. Medical. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think it just, you know, like, generic... First aid kit is probably all you really need for like the first like week. Like unless you're in like a dangerous situation, you're really gonna be okay. Mm. Like once you get past a month, uh, you might start needing some more specialized things. But oh, actually, What's like specialized first aid kit stuff that you feel like people could get that would get them out of binds they wouldn't be able to get it otherwise I guess like um, more specific like burn uh, items to treat burns yeah. uh, on a more holistic on a more like a specialized way uh, trauma kit to gauze you know, like tourniquet like, if you're in a year of, like, pretty rough situations, a tourniquet might not hurt. Do realize, though, if you ever apply a tourniquet, you are, you are saying that limb is gone. Yeah. Um, this is a really weird thing that I know. Obviously, it was taught to me at one point. Uh, you can make a tourniquet, though. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You can do it with a stick and a t-shirt. Exactly. Um... Use uh, uh du is it triple? No, it's double antibiotic instead of triple. Interesting. Why is that? Because triple dries out the ends of your skin more apparently, and it creates a longer heal time, which just yeah. allows your chances of infection to go up again. Grass to go up. At least that's what I was taught in my wilderness first aid class. I buy that. Yeah. Apparently, you could actually move uh, people with a neck injury more than they used to. Interesting. Why is yeah. that? Um, they found that it was just a better, like, wasn't as risky as originally thought for a lot of the first uh, wilderness first aid stuff. Yeah. Like, obviously, if you're in a safe situation, don't move a person. But if, like, you need to get somewhere, a travel pill around the neck and slow cautious movement will be adequate that's good to know yeah. it's not just like don't or don't allow the neck to move but you could have them walk yeah 
It's like if you're on the top of a mountain and you're getting like <laughs> blown off it. Move. Yeah. They'll the, be fine. The neck is already in danger in that situation. Gotta protect the neck. Um What else do we really got going? Yeah. I would say for like V stuff you really only need your multi tool. Yeah. Once you get beyond like a weaker, yeah, I'd say once you get to the three months, I'd say uh, add in some like saws. You're gonna want to be able to like do woodworking, build stuff. You said three months. Yeah. Well, to be fair, even if civilization collapses, you're still gonna want your multi tool. You're just gonna want some more stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think you need to explicitly say that stuff. Like, you'll probably want your water bottled water for. <laughs> yeah. These club civilization too. Oop. Shit! 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 Um, give me a second. I might fuck up the stream. Okay, we saved it. I almost just like exited out the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I take it that would have been bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, it wouldn't have been good. That that I that I know. Um, is there anything that you think when you get past like three to a year that really changes? That like would become desperately needed. Oh, I would add another column for yes, yes, 3D printer from power. Oh yeah. Um, what's those uh, like jockey things? Checks and yells. What do you think you uh What's that? Uh you know those like mobile battery banks? Yeah, just like a portable battery. Yeah. Yeah. What's you there? Just like in this case, you're you're hoping to charge your phone. I don't think you need to worry about like too too much more. Oh, yep. one thing on the prepping list is you got to get a mobile jump uh co jumper. Yeah. Um. You should have one of these actually, anyways. I would argue, um, relying on somebody else to help jump your co and or like triple A is just a nuisance and a waste of your own time for something that's like. 75 bucks on Amazon, maybe. Yep, my parents just got one for themselves and one as a gift for one of my grandparents. Nice. Not the uh, MAGA one? Uh, it might have been the MAGA one. You know, you should show some of the emails on stream. Oh, God. That yeah, would I think be pretty it, funny, actually. I it go it would be good content. Highlights. Yeah. I, first off, I, mean, I, I think can, it would I just... be... Mm -hmm. I would say, I, like, this is very much like the the debate about blood sports tickets of limited value. No, no, you see, in this case, I enjoy it. <laughs> it's not the way I enjoy blood sports. I enjoy that in an actual sense. <laughs> much more primal sense. <laughs> Just so much more fun to see. You know, it is fun to, like, hear out the conspiracy theories purely because it is, like, fictional. And you're just like, wow, oh, how did you weave this story? You know it's fictional. The crazy part is that they make it make sense to them. Yeah, yeah. That's what you said, yeah. That is the sad part. It's quite insane. I think I misspelled portable, but you're always going to want a portable battery on you. Um... Portable. Do not drink your batteries. Do not drink the batteries. That would be bad news bears. When do you think solar panels 
come into play like three months? Uh, yeah. I'd say like something you can like something solar, like maybe some kind of like like backpacking type thing where it's like a tiny little solar pack you put out and it charges a tiny little solar panel over a few days. When civilization collapses, your goal is to collect enough scrap copper to make a generator. Or just get one of those like turbines you showed me that could power a house. Was that you or was that Adam? That might have been Adam. I don't remember Shadow. Oh, oh, you'll like this. Um, there are these little like water turbines that are the size of like, a backpack that could power a house that you just throw in a river. Oh, you know, I've seen some of those things like that. There was like a little one for like hiking. Yeah. Um, it is a pretty cool idea, especially if you're going to be uh, near a creek. I definitely would say that by civilization collapse, using uh, hydropower is pretty important. Yes. Why? Okay. I'll just keep making it the shoe fit. You can just do it said to uh to wrap. Hmm. Control all. I'll just do that right now actually. Yeah. Uh. And now it all wraps. That is sick. I'll have to know that. Cause yeah, my notes like extends like a mile that way. Yep. That definitely will be useful. Um, but it's, you can kind of like find like the balance between like making the column too thin that's just like too tall and not wide enough yeah that totally makes sense let's see if there's anything that they suggested um i guess in defense like if you're getting outside of wheat you should probably have a gas mask Given if that there is not stability within a week, uh, definitely things start to go sideways. No, I mean, this is just going to kind of like contribute to the reason why gas masks are so expensive now. Back when I got mine in 2016, man, so cheap. Well, to be fair, this is McMaster, so if I go to... No, even still, I've looked at the prices. Uh, that's not telling. <laughs> That's not too bad. Yeah, true. It's only sixty bucks. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's I... mine. Go down one more. Oh, never mind. It's not it. That does though look pretty sick. I get the feeling that's just like it's. I think it's PLA looks. Yeah. It's, it is for airsoft. I will say though, don't get a half respirator. You do need a full one. Mm -hmm. I'll put that. What chemical goggles? Chemical goggles. Like. For chemistry. Oh, uh. Chemi chem chemis chemistry proof goggles. Uh, uh, yeah, they probably won't hurt. You're right. What are these? Well, that's that's more just like a, as an alternative for the full respirator. Let's go over your eyes. Yeah. I would say that you should prefer. Prefer for respirator. Just as like a note, like a full respirator is probably better than a half respirator in terms of uh, going forward. Oh. Uh. Where do you think par do you think paracord would fall into any of these categories? That'd be tools, and honestly, that'd be for like any through anything beyond one day. Once paracord, yeah. I was just saying before you jumped on just how good paracord is. Best part is you have the um, internal 
lines that you can gut it for. There we go. I'll expand this just a smidgen, maybe. That looks, that looks better now. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good idea. I like the what you're thinking here. I think it makes a lot of sense to think about um, emergencies based on this concept, realizing that yeah. you might end up in a, a five-year shenanigan. Well, it's also just kind of like what's really helpful in that situation yeah. like to what extent was some of the stuff going to be helpful because a lot of stuff that you could just like end up bringing around for like it's only gonna be helpful in the apocalypse that's not gonna really help you if you can like get to us the place where everything is still okay yeah that's a that's a fair point i wonder if it will be um have you ever watched the movie um zombie land no i haven't there was a running joke in zombie land about like Oh, if you're on the East Coast, there's a safe spot on the West Coast. If you're on the West Coast, there's a safe spot in the East Coast. And just like the idea that nobody actually kind of knows where safety yeah, is. Pretty much. I feel like pretty that, much. That, 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 that's pretty much a reality about that. Ugh. Let's see. Any, uh, any cool NPR things pop up uh, that you're walking around about? Uh, you don't listen to NPR to hear cool things. Listen to NPR to get the most dry take on the things that you should know about. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I started going through the AP News app. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's like if NPR doesn't have was just monotone. If NPR wasn't factual enough for you, <laughs> if go to go to AP or Reuters. If those uh, uh, inflections in the voice gave details away that you didn't like, AP News. AP News is the most straight shooting ever. Yeah. <sighs> it's almost uncomfortable how straight their shots are. <laughs> To be fair, straight shooting in this in the way we're using it doesn't actually mean it's good. It just means that it's like baseline. Like, well, I, I mean, from the sense of like, there's not a lot of like spins they're putting on stuff. It's just like Shinzo Abe was shot. This yeah. is what we know about when he was shot. That's all we're telling you. I agree if that. What that's... else to put us in context? Like that's for the spin media's to do. Yeah. Although I do think understanding spin, like having a good spin source, like that's like based on ground reality, but also puts it into broader context about situations happening is important. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I do appreciate there's somewhere I can get like no spin. Yes, no spin is a you know is a good spot. Yeah, I think if everyone was getting no spin news, we'd be in a better spot. I really think that. Yeah. To whatever like extent the media might have a capacity to like do journalistic investigation and try to convince people of something. Mm -hmm. I think if people just were getting the same non spinny source of information, then we would have a lot less discord. I would agree with that. Um, one thing that I like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of like, um, Before we move on, I mentioned we should uh, talk about. Like my thoughts on how information is disseminated and what that's doing to society at some point on the stream. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. Um, what was I heading? I had a thought real quick. Um, uh oh. Uh oh, it's slipping. Media. I wanted to get my thought before it slipped away. Yeah, no, no. I made your thoughts slip away. It's all good. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. Oh, um, I'm not a big fan of opening up like libel law, uh, stuff. Like, I don't think there's like a good legal ramification system for like media. However, there was one, uh, legal 
doctrine that the media teams use, the I am just a character. Both uh, Rachel Maddow and Tucker Carlson have used this. Well, no p- serious person would take me seriously. Rachel Maddow, mm-hmm. the Rhodes Scholar. Yes. Expects not to be taken seriously. Yeah. Um, she got sued by OAN at one point because she claimed that they were like, she didn't claim, she blatantly stated they were funded by Russia, which one journalist was getting funding from like OT or something, like directly OT. Mm-hmm. So like the the claim was like three layers away from being true type of thing. So she got, that's why she got dragged to court. I forget if it worked, but um, essentially they go in there and go, I'm just playing a character. It's like you get up in front of millions of people every day and say shit. Like, fuck off. I take you seriously. The, um, the Kraken lawyer did that too. Fuck, what's her name? Which one? Um... Sydney Powell. Sydney Powell got in front of a judge and said, no person would take me seriously. That's hilarious. Um, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this is it. Law.com. Facing I... defamation, no reasonable person thought her election claims were a fact. She said this in court. This doctrine has to go away. We are in a great spot. <laughs> We're in a great spot right now. I don't know if it was working, but they tried it, and that's that. That's why I draw the line. Uh, dude, our our legal systems are in a pretty fucked up place right now. Something that I've kind of noticed is a historical trend, and I'm going to widely and irresponsibly apply to our own time period, mm-hmm. is that once you have like kind of legal or like state systems around for too long, you they start to kind of like ossify and have a bunch of weird like kludges built on top of them, like things that were never really meant to work that way that just start being like start working a certain way and everything starts building on top of those and like well i guess if the supreme court is the final law in the land and i guess if they're for life and i guess if they have like the ultimate say over the constitution and i guess we should start ruthlessly packing the courts <laughs> yeah um one element of that is also a lot of those institutions are built upon gentlemen's agreements where yeah, a ton of stuff where it's like based off norms not laws and even laws are just norms unless they're enforced yeah uh earlier i went over this uh, court case that's going to be coming up so a it was put on the shadow docket supposedly which is something that yeah. is like um, it tells you all you need to know just in the name yeah it was on it's unfalsifiable to say why it was put on the shadow docket but essentially it's a, a deduction case more versus herper and in theory if supreme court rules in the in a potential way it will legalize the idea that only the state legislator has authority over uh, voting district maps this one this is the the path that trump tried to take to steal the election yeah this one will just be but the, made legalized oh god yeah the, the state the state elector oh. election like uh legislation will have the final say on all right time those. to go back to that to that other kind of prepping doc do, 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 do. <laughs> Prep, no. do, do, do. I, I mean the insurgency prepping doc <laughs> this is that one hey, hey, hey no fed posting all right, I'll, I was actually trying to genuinely make just like a, a natural disaster type survival thing. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, 
I'll make I'll make a 2024 the Supreme Court overturns the election guide. But I do need to go use the bathroom. I think I'm just gonna brush my teeth and head to bed after that. So yeah. Uh. Well, we oh at three hours. This is the longest stream ever. Um. But yeah. Oh. So this is a good. I guess to put up what this prepping guide really means. This is a decent natural disaster guide, especially the things that will be in like a certain color soon. But also, but you also can't really uh, you know, fight if you don't have food, water, or shelter. Yeah, you know, there might be some additives in there to help you prepare for maybe something a little bit worse. Well, I'm Panda. Great to pet posting, eh? This is Odinata. <laughs> and I'm off. <laughs> Alrighty. This is Politics and Cowboys. Y'all have a great night. And...